Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are not joking at all. I love the kind of spirit that this person has. You are a go-getter. <laughs> you, go you are a go-getter. No matter what comes your way, you are just a go-getter. You are a go-getter. You know, no matter how many have tried to stop your dream, you are a go-getter. This person, you are just mm, a go-getter. That is whom you are. That is whom you are. And people are starting to realize that you are not joking at all. You see this success that God said we should have. It is either you, you have it or you have it. It's either you have the sources or you have the sources. There is nothing like it. It's either I have sources or it's either I fail. Mm -mm. In your own dictionary, there is nothing like that. It is either I succeed or I succeed. <laughs> oh, God. You need to tell yourself some things. And people are like, oh, you, where are you going? This one that you have started, you will not succeed. You tell them that it is either I succeed or I succeed. That all they are waiting to hear that it is either I succeed or I die. No. It is either I succeed or I faint. It is either I succeed or I perish. Mm -mm. When they are waiting to hear the other one, you will not say it is either I succeed or they are waiting to hear the all because the devil is not omnipresent to many science so that they can say all. Oh. They can take the all or oh, I fail so that they can take the fail and use it against you. While they are waiting, their ears are open, you speak the word, and it will stand. The Bible said, decree a thing on earth, and it shall be established in heaven. In my ministry, is either I succeed or I succeed. Yeah. No matter the weakness that I encounter, I will succeed. Because even in my weakness, the strength of the Lord is made perfect. These are the mentality that you should carry. You see this marriage, it is either I succeed or I succeed. Where they are waiting to hear you say, it is either I succeed or I divorce. You are like, it is either we succeed or we succeed because one with God is majority. The mentality of a champion. <clears throat> the mentality of a champion. This person, you are a go-getter. <clears throat> and many are realizing it now. That you are not joking. Yes. You are not joking. <laughs> you know. The brothers of Joseph. They realized it, that Joseph was not joking. Either. When he would come and tell them the dream. Tell them the dream. Tell them the dream. He continued and continued telling them. Continued telling them. Continued. Even when they were warning him. This that they were angry, feeling frustrated. He never stopped. Until they sold him. <laughs> a very stubborn, very stubborn mindset. You, you tell somebody your dream and they don't agree. Even you tell you told your parents, they were telling you, your father was telling you that you mean that even we, your parents, will bow down for you and all of that. And you still keep telling them. And you can see the anger in them. You, <laughs> you keep telling them. You keep telling them. Ah, you know, in this generation, one would have think that, ah, Joseph, why did you not keep your dream to yourself? Must you talk? You talk too much. <laughs> ah, that not will help us. But God has already programmed all of that. That is why he was able to say that you made it for evil, but the Lord made it for good. Yes, but I believe that God has already programmed because there is nothing that happened in a journey of a man that God has sent forth. That God is not aware. That God is not aware of anything that happened in a journey of a man that God has sent forth. Hear me. The one that God has sent forth. Anything that happens in the life of that man, that woman, God is aware. Before it happened, he is even the one that will approve it. Hallelujah. 
Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, you are a go-getter. To this person, there are many things that have tried to stop you. Yeah. In many ways, they have tried, you know, like tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. All their trying have been a way to make sure they stop you. Yeah. But the realization about you now is something that is hitting so many of them so hard. Because there is nothing stopping you now. Hmm. Jesus. There is nothing stopping you now. There is nothing that is stopping you now. Because the Bible says in that uh, Isaiah 51, it said, The Lord will save his people. Mm. The Lord will save his people. Even when people try to kill your dream, he said he will save you. Just like he saved Joseph. God save his people. Those that are go-getters in the Lord, they always encounter challenges. Look at Hannah in the temple. She encountered challenge in that temple while she was praying. Because the priest, Eli, now said to her, you are drunk. Put away the cup of drinkiness away from you. That is something that will not provoke her. I tell you, if it is in this generation, a prophet, a priest of God, tell somebody that. The person will say, ah, he's not a real prophet. Why did he not see that I was praying? She, he said, is the priest, he saw everything. Why did he not see it? They will condemn him. But out of that pain, purpose was baited. Was baited. Out of that pain, purpose was baited. Sometimes from pain comes purpose. Even in that place where Eli have, have already even speak different things to Hannah and said, look at you, why will you be drinking? It's too early. Take away this cup away from you. That was pain as well. That had been added to the one that she come to even seek for, to, to pray against she came to pray against the pain of barrenness, and she is there. And a priest is telling her that, oh, you woman, you are drunk and all of that. Can you understand? But she stood and she defended herself. And the Lord saved her because the Lord will save his people. For the Lord will save his people. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord will save his people. Glory to Jesus. You are not joking with your dream. You are not joking with your belief. You are not joking with your purpose. People have come to the realization of that. And it is hitting them so hard. Because the Lord will save those that he called his people. Hallelujah. He said, Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness. Ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock, whence ye are here, and to the hole of the pit, whence ye are dig. Hallelujah. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you, for I called him alone, and I blessed him, and I increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he shall comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden. And her desert like the guiding of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of the melody. Isaiah 51 from verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Lord is speaking to somebody through his word. You are a go-getter. And what you are going to get, you will get it. What you are going for, the purpose that you are pursuing, you will get you will get it. Even in that pain that you are in, that pain will bait purpose in your life. Yes, the pain of Joseph baited purpose. And in your case, that pain will bait a positive purpose. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you.
And I am loving with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.